Do you guys want to know the three easiest ways to make money in Pokemon Skyline Violet? Well, stick tuned into this video and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So what you want to do is you want to come over to the Indigo Disc, Blueberry Academy. You are going to fly right here. And then you want to go to your club room or your league room. You're going to walk over to the scientist right here. This is the Pokemon printer. Now, this is only if you have the DLC. And what you're going to do, you want to max it out all the way to making it better. I've already done that. You hit one to print something. Now, you can choose specific TM materials or not. What I do, I just do auto select and I hit yes. Now, it takes about 30 BP every single time you do this. You need to hit A to turn the handle. And then from here, it's going to print out random different items that you can get throughout the entire game. So let's see what we get. I, from what I've seen is that the orange ones are usually battle items. Okay, so, I mean, we've got two max revives, two light clays, three PP ups. We, we got some good stuff. Now, so you just do this a couple times. Again, it's about a 30 BP. I usually do as much as a thousand. And I mean, from what, when I checked before, I got a million back by selling everything off that I got. And that's where you get the most of your money is you just sell everything off that you get that you don't need and you you make bank i mean i got an iron right there two loaded dice black glasses like a lot of that stuff sells for a lot and so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna we're gonna keep spamming uh we're gonna keep spamming this auto auto buy until we get to one of the lottos gold i can't remember i could be wrong no we got one but we got a lot of orange so I could be wrong. I think the orange is um, very helpful. So it's all going to be in the uh, the rare candy item area, the battle items. You got Toxic Orb, the Unremarkable Teacup, four, uh, two calcium, two protein, and four big nuggets. Like, that's really good. Uh, and here it is. This is what I was talking about. You get this animation every so often. And this is a lotto. So there's two different types. There's this one where you get two times item. So I'm just going to do random. And then there's another one that is rainbow colors. And that one is a Pokeball Lotto where you get random Pokeballs. So we do this. We spin this. Let's see what we get here. We'll do two more autos just to see if we can get the Pokeball Lotto as well. If not, then this is what we have. Okay, so two times items. We got four proteins, two PP ups. We got a Moonstone, 40 water Terras, 18 honeys. Like there's so much here. That you can sell for quite a that bit. That is the easiest way that I have found to make money in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Okay, so for this way of getting infinite money in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, what we're going to do is you're going to want to fly to right here, the Asado Desert. You want to ride around real quick. You're going to look for these little sparkles on the ground. What you're going to do is you're going to hit save before every single sparkle on the ground. And you're going to look for a star piece. Once you find a star piece, you're going to quit your game. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit the home button. And you're going to hit X. And you're going to close your software. I'm canceling because I've already done it. This is a star piece. And I know for sure. So then after that, you're going to want to make sure you only have two Pokemon in your party. And make sure they cannot breed together. So what I have is a Paradox Pokemon and any other Pokemon. Because Paradox Pokemon don't have genders. And they can't breed. From there... You're gonna to wanna to stand on your item and then go one, two, three, four. And then you're gonna make a picnic. And the goal is to get that item right underneath that basket, which I think we did. Let's make sure real quick. You should see that little, yep, the sparkles right underneath that little basket. So what you're gonna do now is you wanna make a sandwich. And basically the goal is to get as you're going to make a great peanut butter sandwich, which is peanut butter, banana, and butter. And what this does is it gives you egg power level two, which basically makes um, eggs up here in the basket more. But because there are no eggs in the basket, um, because you can't breed, it's going to duplicate that item countless times. Uh, this sandwich will last for about 30 minutes. And the max I've seen in one sandwich for so like one 30 minute sitting 
is about eight or nine star pieces and this is totally afk uh which means away from controller or keyboard um so literally after you make a sandwich what you do you gotta let all this go through uh and the sandwich is just to make it go a little bit faster you don't have to use it uh and then what you do is you just stand right next to here uh this part people have said makes more come out i'm not sure that's just what i've heard so that's what i do i'm gonna wait at least like five minutes or so and i'll come back and we'll check to see what's in the basket all right so it's been about a minute now what we're gonna do not a minute five minutes what we're gonna do is we're just gonna press a on this basket you peek inside there's a star piece but wait there's more and five minutes we got two star pieces so it just keeps progressing and progressing you just get multiple star pieces so that's how this um this duplication works okay so this money farm process this is a little bit harder so Kiram white is what i found to be the best one if you have the dlc and you've beaten it to where the ace uh, academy ace tournament is the hardest it'll ever be so you have Kiram white i have the item metronome uh because we're gonna be using ice beam over and over again so the move is ice beam and we're just gonna be spamming a uh i will show my graph is high speed high special defense and high hp this way you're as bulky as possible and all you're doing is spamming and we're careful in nature i also have a ribbon um so what you do it helps if you have i've already saved it helps if you have a controller that has a turbo mode because all you have to do press a and then let it do its thing so i'm literally not holding the button and it's pressing a for me and it'll go through this entire tournament and you just keep going until Kiram White uh, blacks out because each each um each trainer after you beat them they heal you right back up to where you don't have to worry about running out of either PP on your move or health. I also maxed out uh, maxed the PP out on Ice Beam that way I don't struggle because that'd be really bad. Um, other than that, we're gonna let this thing play out and I'll come back once it's done. And that's pretty much all you have to do. You just let it run. Um, what I've found, as long as I've had this run for is about three hours without um, passing. And what I've noticed is the hardest ones to beat are Gita, Nimona, and Penny. Those you get some bad rolls. You might actually like be, get sent to the Pokemon Center. But for most of the time, you're just rolling through and you get three rare candies as well so that is probably one of the easier ways to also get money in this game and like i said with this one you don't need the dlc at all i hope you guys enjoyed this video of the easiest ways to make money in pokemon skyland violet and if you enjoyed videos like this please let me know down in the comments and i'll try to make some more like this and if you want to help this channel grow make sure you subscribe if you're not uh and then try to check me out i try to stream every friday around 7 p.m other than that i'll see you in the next video have a good one guys